Hey, so what's going on YouTube? I am back today with another video. And in today's video, I would like to discuss five last minute Christmas gifts that you might be interested in. So if you haven't bought anything or looking for some stocking stuffers or last minute, you know, baseball and sports related Christmas gifts, please watch the rest of the video. <laughs> So today I'm going to discuss five last minute gifts that you should be able to get before Christmas. And, you know, they can be dedicated towards kids, they can be dedicated towards yourself, significant others, brothers, whoever really. Um, I'm going to kind of give a big mix and match of everything. So number one is going to be a mystery box. Specifically the mystery box from the Grand Slam Card Club and the Rookie Level. So my justification for this one is the Rookie Premium level gives you 12 to 15 packs in the December box for about $57. Now, these packs include Top Series 1, Top Series 2, Donruss, Heritage, Big League, and Opening Day, which are a little bit of a lesser cost product, as well as Golden Age. Um, 2013 Pinnacle and others so you can also downgrade to the medium and low tier which you get the same product but a lesser quantity of packs and other things with that um, I believe you also might get a hit in that box which is pretty cool and I think it's a great variety of cards for someone younger that either likes to collect or wants to get into collecting, um, you know, it's a good, it's a good plethora of, you know, cards for them to go through. And I think it's a really good product for a great value, especially if you're looking to buy, you know, a gift on a budget. So number two, you know, this one might be kind of obvious and kind of dumb, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. Number two is retail. If you want to look for blaster boxes, if you want to look for, you know, various retail packs. Um, fat packs, retail packs, hanger boxes, anything that you might find at Target, Walmart, or your local drugstore, you know, should they be in supply where you're at, you know, it's pretty much a given. You can get them relatively inexpensively and, you know, it's, and it's good to have under the tree. It's great to put in the stocking. You can put it in a bag. It's a good gift. You know, again, more of the card collecting bulk so to speak and there there's some good products there tops update isn't the greatest but it can be had relatively cheaply and they're good cards to look at so that's number two number three is going to be more of the memorabilia centric person so specifically if you go down to your local card shop or look online i'm going to refrain from using ebay just because with how close we are to Christmas, you know, there's no guarantee you could might, could get your shipment on time just because if the seller wants to wait a couple days, if they're out of town, if they're not able to ship it right away, you know, there's a million reasons why if you're shopping this late, you probably shouldn't use eBay. You know, the most, in my opinion, are is because of shipping. You know, a big corporation or a bigger supplier can get things out a little quicker and you'll probably get it before, you know, Christmas Day. So anyway, memorabilia. <laughs> so if you look online, you know, MLB.com, um, your local card shop, if you call up your local card shop and ask them, you know, what kind of memorabilia they have, chances are they're going to have autographed baseballs from the local teams or sports memorabilia in general. If you're into football, you know, they might have autographed football equipment. So I think... I think that's great, especially for a lesser known player. You can get an autograph ball for anywhere from, you know, 20 to 50 bucks. And if your kid or friend or whomever is really into this one specific player that, you know, doesn't warrant a whole lot of value, you get a really, really cool item for not a lot of money. Um, also look for autograph pictures, autograph portraits. There's all kinds of things you can do. And your local card shop is probably going to have a lot of that stuff for your local you know, cities, teams, players. So that's number three. Number four is also in the memorabilia realm. So 
if you're whoever you're buying for likes a specific player you can always look for an autographed card or an autographed relic so for instance you know an example i'm going to give is i went to a card show a couple weeks ago and found an aj mentor card so those of you who might, might not know who he is, he's an Atlanta Braves reliever, and I found an autographed relic from 2018 Allen and Ginter, which I believe is a rookie card as well. I'd have to go find it, otherwise I'd show it on camera. Anyway, I found that card for about seven bucks. Yeah, he, he was in a he was in a BCW box and along with a whole bunch of other cards, you know, the the guy at the store said, hey, you know, feel free to sort through whatever you want. You know, we can make a deal on. And I was able to land that card for $7. Now, will it ever go up in value? Probably not. But as a Braves collector, I thought it was a pretty cool piece to have. And at 7 bucks, why not buy it? So my point there is, you know, again, probably go to your local card shop or another supplier. I would probably stay away from eBay unless you want to pay a ton for expedited shipping. You know, obviously around the holidays, USPS, UPS, they're all going to be slammed, so shipping is most likely going to be delayed. But on top of that, if you have an eBay seller that is waiting a couple days to ship their stuff out in bulk or they just can't get to it right away, you know, the longer you wait, the chances are it's not going to be there before Christmas. So, you know, I would go to your local cart shop, see what they have. You can find a cool autograph relic, you know, of your kid's favorite players. That's awesome. That's where I would start. So number five, I'm going to go with hobby boxes. So specifically, if you're not looking to break the bank, 2020 Stadium Club, I think, is a really good value. So you get 16, it's either 16 or 24 packs. I believe it's 16. You're, you get two autos per box, guaranteed. And they are absolutely phenomenal looking cards. The photography in that set is incredible. There's a fair amount of parallels you can pull. There's a fair amount of star rookie cards you can pull on top of the autographs. A few cool inserts. Um, so I, you know, depending on your budget and if you're looking to, you know, if you're looking from a value perspective, I think Stadium Club 2020 is a great hobby box to buy on a budget. There are others that are cheaper. There are others that are more expensive. You know, Stadium Club, I guess, is a little more low to mid-range product, and you also get a fair amount of volume. You know, Allen and Ginter is around the same price, but there's a lot of not crap cards, but I'm going to quote jabs here. It has a lot of weirdo cards in it, so you'll see, you know, World Trade, I don't know if World Trade Center is in there, but you'll see World Trade Center cards. You'll see cards of other famous structures and buildings around the world. Um, there's a football player, J.K. Dobbins. The only reason I know he's in there is because I'm a Ravens fan. Um, you know, and they take away from some of the potential baseball players you could find in that pack. So I, they can also be had at a value, and some of the shops are kind of giving those away. Um, but I, I just don't think it's a super good product. If you like them, buy them. If not, you know, there are definitely other options. Topps Update Hobby Box can be had for around 80 bucks, So that's also an option. But um, I just wanted to create a video to give, you know, you guys that might be last minute, you know, buyers or just looking for a couple small things to add to, you know, Christmas gifts or whatever for anybody. So hopefully you found this information helpful. And, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Take care. Bye.